question is, can you succeed without adversity? Can you succeed without challenge? Is it necessary to condition human beings for them to succeed? Maybe, maybe not. Things is the stuff from which legends are made. Time and again, all the great people. So it's such a, a wonderful story. His ability to navigate through the rough waters of rural life. That one. Hmm? Navigating those waters of rural life. Many people fall off the ladder of trying to go up. His ability to educate the navi uh, to navigate the education waters. Again, in a rural situation where you have to walk kilometers to school, where there is no school lunch, where there is kiboko by the teacher. Woo! <laughs> you have to be tough. So Dr. Kure is an embodiment of that. Navigating through wars. Many of us have lived through wars. The famous Teso War and so many LRA. I mean, all kinds of wars they went through. Navigating politics. This one. So many have fallen. You can stay but without friends. You get hated. But you are never to navigate politics of FDC, politics of NRM, and I guess both sides are in this room. And both sides go to, to, fix, to fix their bones in this hospital. <laughs> you peace also. <laughs> navigating international complexities. One of the challenges of international complexity is the allure never to come back to Uganda. Many people, when they get out of Uganda, that's the end of the story. They jump their visas, they get all excuses never to come back. But he was able to navigate and come back to his roots. Workplace intrigue, this one is the killer. But he's there, overcame workplace intrigue. At Mulago, partly at Mbarara, in, in Kumi, and then above all, business dynamics. Many of us have tried that business, we have failed. Even government has failed in business. But here is an individual who has succeeded in business as a professional, as a doctor, as a healer. I think that's the biggest achievement of all. Then, least, not least, his passion to provide medical care and charity to the Teso community. That passion is again very admirable and the books takes us through that. The book inspires us and that is really, really, really great. How many of us have attempted or are even willing to do charity. How many of us remember our communities, not just Teso, where we came from? Some of us only wait to go there when we cannot talk to anyone else, and you know what I mean. So, Dr. Kure, thank you. There is also the element of commitment to honor the legacy of his mother the medical legacy. Again, that is a lesson that I think is lacking in most of us and in our society. Parents start initiatives or they get educated in a certain discipline and then the children may not necessarily be bothered to uphold that legacy. But he made sure his mother resting in peace is a happy woman because her son followed in the footsteps not only to become a nurse like her, but to become a doctor with the honors. So that inspiration is for the generations to come. And I hope the book will be put in all the places where young people can be inspired. So I think that is what I said, and I couldn't have said more. Maybe just to, to challenge Dr. Kureva is saying, and it's hard.
the title of the book is timeless. So you are actually challenging yourself. You are undeterred in the past, but I think the, the real challenge for you is being undeterred about the future. Mm -hmm. So whatever challenges you have now or you are likely to come, please remain true to the title of your book. Remain undeterred. You don't have to rest on your laurels. You don't have to say, I've achieved it all. I'm sure your hospital is going to go to greater heights. And the whole medical system in Uganda still has a lot to do, especially making the services accessible and to as many people as possible. So remain.